Hey, welcome to Cal Free Kicks. On this channel, I do leather free sneaker reviews only, and today I've got a wild new drop from Adidas. It's the Adidas ZX 10,000 Krusty Burger. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't seen one of my videos before, I always look into five main things when I review a pair of sneakers. And at the end of the video, I'll give them an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see as you're going along, please do click the little thumbs up like button below. And whilst you're down there, if you click the subscribe button and the little notification bell that pops up next to it, you will get a fresh notification every time a video drops on the channel. Let's kick this review off by talking a little bit more about how these sneakers look and checking them out on feet. These Adidas ZX 10,000 Krusty Burgers look great on feet and in hand. They are obviously based on Krusty the Clown, the character from The Simpsons, and his famous fast food chain Krusty Burger. What you're getting with this is so much detail on the upper and on the inside of these sneakers. I really do like how fun the Adidas have made this shoe, and I think it just looks great. Now what you've got is many different textiles on the upper, and they all are an ode to Krusty the Clown. At the front, you've got this canvas detailing in beige, and then you've got this red felt synthetic suede that just lines the front of the toe box. Underneath that, you've got kind of this neoprene nylon feeling on top of the toe box area, and that runs through all the way up to the tongue, and at the top of the tongue, we've got this really nicely colored Adidas logo in the Krusty the Clown colors. At the bottom of the tongue here, you've got the standard torsion lace plate at the front. Inside the box, you actually get these Krusty the Clown metal lace plates that you can put at the bottom. And then you can see there with his hands, you can make it look like he's holding these torsion signs and they come in red and green in the box. And you get two obviously metal plates, one for each shoe, which you can add to the bottom of the laces here to add even further detail to this crazily detailed shoe already. Then as you move around to the top of the toe box, you've got this brown canvas material to represent the bun for the burgers that Krusty's holding on the Krusty Burger sign. These are little embroidered dots here to represent sesame seeds. You've got the three branding stripes in green for Krusty's hair again. You've got this synthetic pink suede at the bottom. At the top of the lace loops, you've got some hardened TPU to pull the laces in on top of the three stripe branding that runs on both sides of the shoe, again with more synthetic suede at the bottom in the pink. Then you get the bun colour that runs around the top there, just underneath the heel. Classic ZX series TPU heel cup here, which is soft and matte. Sometimes they're shiny, but on this one they're nice and soft. Then you've got this red detailing above the midsole here. As you move around to the back, you've got this chenille fabric that's nice and bobbly to represent Krusty the Clown's hair. And again, you've got an embroidered Adidas logo as well. The midsole for this is a standard torsion midsole, possibly with some boost, but we'll go into that in the comfort section, which we're gonna talk about now, where I put this midsole to the test. One thing I forgot to mention in the look section is the fact I really don't like the laces that are provided with this sneaker. Now you get these white ones and you also get these black ones in the box with these little yellow tips. But to be honest, I find them stringy and just a bit too wiry and thin for the overall look of the shoe. When I'm doing them up, they just felt a bit ugh. So um, for me, I would swap the laces out and also like to see some more bolder colors provided by Adidas, but that's really my only gripe with them looks wise. Now moving on to their comfort, they are a nice, comfortable, shoe. Overall, I did find them very comfortable underfoot and on top. You've got some nice foam detailing in the toe box area that runs through to the tongue. You've got this black kind of towel-like fabric that runs through the heel box, which is nice and padded. The insole for the sneaker with the Simpsons detailing and the Krusty Burger motif, it's just a standard insole, no fanciness going on with that. That is sat on top of 
This EVA midsole, now this EVA foam midsole could possibly have boost inserted into it somewhere like some of the other ZX series that Adidas have released recently but I couldn't find any information to confirm or deny that. Now the foam does die off a little bit towards the toe in terms of comfort but from the mid foot back, the torsion system and the amount of foam bounce you get under your foot is nice and it's nice and soft and responsive so overall really nice ride underneath the foot. Fit wise, these are an absolute true fit, so do not worry about going half a size up or half a size down because they really do fit nicely. Next, I wanna move on to their weight where I'm gonna pop them on the scales to show you how much they weigh. Oh, coming in at 391 grams, considering the amount of detailing that you've got on top and the amount of materials that Adidas have used on the upper foot of the shoe, 391 is not too bad a weight. You're not gonna wear these for performance purposes. If you are running a marathon in them, please let me know. But I don't think anyone's wearing these for a performance style. It's gonna be a lifestyle sneaker through and through. The weight for that reason doesn't matter as much, but still 391 is on the heavier side. And I do like to see sneakers be around the 330 mark to really say that they are kind of lightweight. Next, I wanna move on to their breathability where I'm gonna pump smoke through the upper to see if this heavily detailed upper is breathable. So breathability wise, they don't offer any unfortunately. The only part of the shoe where the smoke escape is where the tongue meets the rest of the upper. You can see there, that it is a separate tongue, but there's small gaps that are created when your foot is in there, and that's where the smoke could escape. No other part of this upper, because it's so heavily layered, you've got this nylon kind of neoprene feel, on top of that you've got synthetic suede, on top of that you've got canvas. It's layer upon layer of textile on this upper, which has unfortunately created a shoe that is not breathable at all. Now I wanna move on to their price. These cost me 100 pounds, not bad, I don't mind that price at all, to be honest, because of how imaginative the shoe is and the amount of shoe you are getting for that money. Now I wanna move on to their overall score. Now for me, these are really solid four stars. I love the ZX series. I love how imaginative this is. I love the, the different take on the shoe. The only aspects of it that really let it down are its breathability and it is a little bit heavy. If you like what you've seen today, please do not forget to give the video a thumbs up before you go. You can also follow me on Instagram and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers, bye.